<laughs> Welcome back to my channel, spooky friends. In today's video, working on the reverse bear trap mask from Dead by Daylight. I hate you so much. <laughs> I hate you. You suck. When I tell you that this was the most frustrating thing that I've ever worked on, I am not exaggerating. I created the reverse bear trap mask twice. Two times. The first time, I made the sides not taper. And that was so frustrating to have to restart over because my own mind was like, no, it can't look like that. It doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like that. And so like, I had to start it over. Um, overall though, I think it really turned out cool and I'm happy that I have this and you'll be happy that you have this, but if it's not a labor of love, I don't know what is because this was a frustrating process and took way too long and is the reason why this video is so late is because I, there were some days I could not get myself to work on this because I was so frustrated with how it was turning out and the materials that I had and all that stuff because all of the materials that you're seeing I had to order pretty much on the fly or try to dig out materials or repurpose things to create this mask which isn't a bad thing and I'll have all the materials that I did end up using down below but don't follow my tutorial as like a way to create this. <laughs> like I'm just gonna show you the speed run of what I did and that's it you're not there's no tutorial will be made from me creating the reverse bear trap mask because honestly like I I wouldn't be I wouldn't be fun <laughs> showing you how I created this and I don't think it turned out super amazing where I should be able to teach someone how to create this so I'm gonna list a couple of tutorials that I found down below that I feel were so much more well executed and had a lot of great steps in them um, so if you're serious about making the reverse bear trap I would follow their tutorials because mine is more of a humdrum second-hand version of the reverse bear trap and it's more so following along the lines of the um the dead by daylight reverse bear trap mask because there is it's a little bit more janky in the game so that's that's my excuse and that is what I'm sticking with. So if you want to see how to create this and how to break it on your head, then keep on watching. Thank <laughs> you. Getting started here in the commentary version of my voiceover. This part of the pattern um, is pretty easy and standard. The yellow part is just the inner portion of the main big bear trap part. Um, and you want to make sure those two things line up. And this is where I start to like kind of fuck this up because this part's so important. All of these pieces need to be exactly the same width wise. And they also need to like taper down so that they don't bubble and buckle when you put it together. And I didn't do that. I winged this entire part making each trapezoid by cutting and then just gluing them down. And I think that was the biggest downfall of working on this project was I didn't measure shit. I just didn't do it. Um, it was stupid. And if I could do it again, I would measure, but I'm not going to do it again. Um, and this part's really important because once you put those two halves together, they have to 
line up and they have to taper together and stuff. So you really want to make sure you fucking measure. Once you have like one half done, uh, you can see I'm going back in there with more hot glue because they don't match. Oh, I'm so frustrated to myself. And even with this part, I, I went and I cut off the back parts. And I cut off some too short and some are too long. And at this point, I'm so goddamn frustrated. <laughs> the back piece for this, I was just like laying out paper to measure exactly what the size of the back panel I would need. And then you cut it out of your foam. Um, also, didn't measure. Sick. Great job, Sammy. Sick. Tight, 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 tight. Um, I mean, most of this is going to be pure frustration. Ugh. One of the videos that I watched that I linked down below, um, he uses his Dremel tool to kind of like soften the lines, as you can see I'm doing here. And at one point, I wasn't wearing any safety glasses, and a chunk of foam got into my eyeball. So if you're going to do the, that part, freaking wear eye protection like a, like a normal adult. <laughs> um, gluing these two sections together was a goddamn nightmare and a half. I spent probably an hour alone trying to get them together, and they just kept buckling. So I ended up going on the outside of the mouth area and just layering on hot glue. Just fucking layering it on there. But it ended up working out okay. Um, and the straps are pretty easy. You're just gluing two pieces together. And then I like have hot glue everywhere. I burned myself like 80 times doing this. This is also part of the added frustration. My hot glue gun at the bottom here got so hot because it was on for so long that the hot glue pooled in there and it would it stopped coming out so like halfway through my project I couldn't even finish because the hot glue sticks were melting up in this area like really it's so stupid Ugh. yeah the straps are probably the easiest part they went the fastest it took me like 10 minutes to do and, you know, it, it works out pretty well. You have to really put this on your head, take it off, put it on um, every so often to make sure it's fitting properly. Um, otherwise, you'll get done and it just will be the worst fit ever. Um, but yeah... Securing everything with tape. This project had so much tape. I I love masking tape. That's also what this project's taught me. Just really love your ma your masking tape. Cause boy does it come in handy and it paints over well. Like really well. You can't even tell that those two pieces of masking tape are on that mask right now. Cause they just spray paint just covered the shit out of them. Um, so I created these two parts to go on either end to stick out the gears on both sides because if they were flush with the mask, they would have been contorted and I didn't want that to happen. So, added those on there. Funny story about the next piece that I ended up working on, which is this part. Uh, I... I didn't know how to make a tube. I could not for the life of me figure out what material to use to make this standing up straight part on the mask. And then finally I realized, oh, we have wrapping paper in the house. And this tube was just there. Come to find out later when I moved the orientation of my office desk around, there was another tube sitting under my desk that I had saved for projects such as these, where I was like, I'm gonna use this someday. I know I'm gonna need it. And it was there all along. That's what I freaking get, man. The cord part of this was an old um, P2 
piece of wire. Turning on my podcast right now. Sword and scale. Very fitting for a reverse bear trap mask, I may add. Um, I wouldn't follow any of this. This it turned out okay, but honestly, like, the tutorial that I'll link to you guys is so much better. He does so much cooler of a job. And I think I made this a bit too tall. So, just gluing more foam on it to make it look a little bit more rustic and tubular. Make it look not so much like foam glowed, glued onto a, to, to a piece of cardboard. <laughs> oh, man. And then, like, all the smaller bits, those are pretty easy to do with the fake screws and painting everything black and just gluing everything together. Um, I would say, though, get a second glue item like like maybe a, a, a super glue or something so that you don't have to whip out the hot glue gun for everything um, some of the smaller parts probably could have been more easily glued on with just a really good super glue and even this part like I jankily wrapped a bunch of masking tape around it to secure it and then I hot glued a bunch of foam around it to make it look like straps which is fine it turned out okay but it was still like the epitome of janky <laughs> oh dear god oh, I just wiped off my eyebrow nice now you know all my secrets I only have little eyebrows. This is the most chill part of the day. I love these little small parts. They're easy. You know what you're doing. You're just trucking along, having a great time. Not so stressed out. Little circles are a bitch, though, to cut out. And I had to... I cut them out and then I cut them in half so that they were thinner and then that way it makes that part of it faster. Then you just stick them on with more hot glue and you paint it all black. The black underpaint is really key to any of these projects honestly because it really um, it helps with that undertone. Like when you're doing makeup and stuff, you have your undertones in your skin, the pigments, like I, I've got more of a red face and you know that brings out different things in my makeup. Just like with that kind of an idea, that's what I'm doing here with the black paint. And then I spray paint it over gold and some of that black can si shine through in some spots. So um, I highly recommend painting it black first and then spray painting it gold. Um, and then I go in with some small details of like browns, greens, and like darker brown colors and just kind of stamp the color around, around and make it look dirty and make it look gross. And there's no rhyme or reason why I'm putting the paint on the way that I am. It's more so just making it look super old and patinaed and rusted and gross. And I think it captured it well. You know, I didn't really go for it to look good per se. I wanted it to look kind of nasty. And I probably will add some blood to it now that I think of it. I think that would be a good addition. Yeah. Add some blood. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching that speed run through the reverse bear trap. As you saw in my intro, I fucking broke it, so I'm just waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up so I can glue it the fuck back together! <laughs> this is so fast! 
frustrating. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you check those other tutorials out because they are really great um, and they do so much better of a job than I could have ever done on this mask. Um, so if you want to create like a, a real version of it, you know, you, you have a place to do it. Other than that, I, you know, I'm excited for this coming week's mask. It's going to be um, also very challenging because these other masks that I've created so far, they're detailed, but they're not like as detailed as the next one. And I'm sure just off of me saying that, you can guess who's next. Um, do you want a sneak peek? Okay, you earned it. You waited. You earned it. Can you guess who it is from this little, uh, little template that I drew up? <laughs> yeah, so that mask is next. I'm super excited about it. Uh, I hope you guys are too. And thank you again so much for watching. If you want to see more videos, um, hit that like and subscribe. <laughs> and as usual, stay spooky, friends. If this breaks one more fucking time, one more, I will throw it into the San Francisco Bay. Oh. <sighs>